Grendel. All lions must lean into something other than a roar. James Baldwin, for instance, singing Precious Lord. His voice is weary as water broken over his scalp. In a storefront, sanctified churches, baptismal pool, all those years ago when he wanted to be somebody's child and on fire in that being. Lord, I want to be somebody's child. And chosen water spilling over their scalp, water taking the shape of their longing. A deer diving into evening traffic in the furrow drawn over the hood of that car, power and wanting to be something alive and open. Lord, I want to be alive and open. A glimpse of power. The shuffle of a mother's hand over a sleeping child's forehead, as if clearing the city's rust from its face, which we mostly are a halo of rust, a glimpse of power, James Baldwin leaning into the word light, his voice jostling that single grain in his throat as if he might drop it or already has. I'm calling to that grain of light, to that gap between his teeth, where the many of us fatherless sleep and bear and be whatever darkness or leaping thing we can be. In James Baldwin's mouth, my difficult beauty, my weak and worn, my future as any number of angels, which is not unlike the beast Grendel coming out of the wild heaven into the hills and halls of the meat house at the harpist's call with absolute prophecy in his breast and a desire for mercy, for a friend, for an end, to drifting in loneliness. And in that coming down out of the hills, out of the trees, for once, bringing humans the best vision of themselves, which of course must be slaughtered. <laughs>